Hey guys, what's up? This is MWG Videos here, and we're going to be doing something a little different today. Today we're going to be playing uh, Civ 3, and we're going to be playing my new World War II mod. I'm really excited. This is my first time actually playing it. I'm testing it out. It's gone through maybe a month, month or two of beta testing, and it's really, really cool. Now let it just load for a minute. Alright, so as you can see, there's a lot of different people you can be. You can be the Italians, the Germans, the... Russians, the Americans, the Japanese, the French, the British, and the Commonwealth, which is basically Australia and Pakistan and uh, Hong Kong. So today I think we're going to do a walkthrough on the German Empire, on Emperor, because on Dai it's just too impossible. It's not even fair. You have freaking the Russians spawning tanks out of the sky. It's not even funny. But um, just let it load. It's not going to take very long, maybe about half a minute or something. Because it's a giant map and it just needs to recalculate on what the hell is about to happen because it's huge. So anyways, uh, if you want, let me talk about how to get the game. Uh, it's on Steam for 5 bucks, and if you want to get this mod, just send me an email. I'll have my uh, email in the description and I will do my best to try and email the mod back to you. It's amazing. Oh, there we go. It's loaded. Alright, so as the German army, we're going to have our German, German heavy machine gunners, our German infantry, our special bombers, and our panzer divisions. So what, we'll, what we want to do right now is take our panzer divisions and load them up into an army. And as the Germans, I would suggest the first thing you try to do is go and conquer the French. The French, sorry. Uh, the French wall right there, it's pretty much impossible to take down. It's... Um, those units are extremely strong and resistant to bombers, and they're both on a mountain, so I don't suggest you try and take that out. On the first turn, you're going to want to take out all the Netherlands, though. That's almost a priority. You have some U-boats here, and your goal as the Germans is to pr probably take out Paris and Moscow, which is pretty far into Russia, and it's extremely difficult because you can't go Blitzkrieg through there because there's all the mountains and uh, forest and crap. Stalingrad and Leningrad are also two major cities in Russia you're going to want to take over, but they're built on mountains, so it's going to be kind of difficult. Plus, in 15 or 18 turns, I'm not sure what I said it to, but in that time, all of Russia will build one infantry, and that's a lot of cities, and you don't want that to happen. So to prevent that, you have to take over Moscow in less than 15 turns. It's kind of insane. Then right here, I have the Bismarck to try and stop any naval stuff here. And I think right here you have the D-Day transport, which is going to transport units from uh, Greenland all the way to France in uh, about 18 turns. So you're going to want to prevent that as well. So right now I think I'm just going to take these units and just go be a pest to France. I'm They're not really used for anything. I don't know what to do with them. I just put them in there for physical... Actually, I can send them down here to take out those guys. Oh, shit, there's something over there. So we'll just fortify him for now because he gets a little bit of a bonus. And what should we do first? Okay. First I'm going to draft all the units possible, which is a, a nice thing to do. It gives you a lot of extra units, and these infantry are really helpful in so many situations. Like, I, I destroyed an entire Russian army with just German infantry. It was really insane. Plus, most of these cities are overpopulated. Oh, sorry. Most of these cities are overpopulated. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this overpopulated so by drafting them you'll stop like starvation and stuff like that <laughs> you know it's kind of a, a mean thing to do hey you're starving here go join the freaking army but um whatever all right so I think we're gonna try and take actually that's a hard to take over because that's a machine gunner it has 10 defense and four attacks so I don't suggest trying to attack with them so I'm going to try, actually, see if they have any defenses set up. I'm going to bombard it with the fighter. Oh shit, I actually did something. I didn't expect that to do anything. But I'm going to try and take all my bombers. Yeah, see if, like, what the hell. Um, oh, 50 mil millimeter artillery. That'd be nice. Just move that a little closer. Sick. I think I might have another one. Yep, that was right. Right here. I really want to take out this city as soon as possible. Okay, that's okay, I failed. Oh, 
I'm sick. This doesn't normally happen. Normally I just miss with everything. Uh, do I have another bomber? Should. There we go. Can this thing hit it? Yes, it can. Come on, take out that heavy machine gunner. Or not. Oh, but now they can't heal themselves. Yeah, the barracks are very important in this game. They can uh, allow the units to heal themselves in one turn. So if you take out that, it's going to be extremely inconvenient for them. So let's bombard them one more time for good luck. Okay, whatever. We weaken some of the city's health. What should we do with these paratroopers? I think I'll send them over to London maybe a little later. Uh, I think we're going to start in the, with the invasion. So, hmm, what to do? Oh, I can't use that. Actually, let's set up this. German military factors will uh, start flushing out panther tanks for you, or panther forests, which are really good against fighting off all Russians. They're really powerful tanks. They're a little bit more expensive, and these things can't upgrade into them, but they're really worth it. Actually, let me go look at the t technologies I have available. Oh yeah, I'm gonna probably try and learn that. This allows you to build pan uh, panzer tanks, and if I have that, um, I will start being able to build my military. This guy's a spy, and you can go spy on other people, and he's invisible except for the recon trooper. After this, I'm gonna try and head for Blitzkrieg, because once I get Blitzkrieg, I can get the mouse tank, which is basically a monster. It does 50 damage, or 50 attack and 50 defense. It's just destructive. And you get the strongest tanks, you get Tiger tanks, or Tiger twos. Uh, you get 150 millimeter artillery, that's really good. After that, I don't think naval tactics is a pretty important right now. It'd be more important in the Japanese era, but right now it's fine. Vision is what I'm gonna have to go on next. So first we'll go with that, then we'll go there, and then we'll focus on everything else. I should, yeah, one turn, one turn, yep. All right then. Let's take this German infantry and try to attack. I don't expect victory because we only have eight attack, and they're on a city with ten. But the soldiers wounded. If I can take down one attack, okay, yeah, that's what I expect to happen. I'm gonna probably attack with Panzer tanks first. If you're wondering why I'm not using my army, because I want to use my army on Paris, and if I can take over all these cities, I can probably take over Paris in one turn. One or two turns. You want to make sure that you have all of France captured before the Russians come in and buttfuck you in the ass. Okay, seems like we have some good luck on our side. Oh, okay, that's good. That will boost all of our production and make our units a little bit more powerful. And our the first Panzer Division got upgraded to Veteran, which will give it one extra health. So from five, it now has six. And the health is like dice rolls. Right now I have 13 and he has like 6 I believe. So there's a 13 to 6 chance I'm going to win. So most of the time I'm going to win but I have 4 more dice rolls to, uh, to try and win that victory. One time it was ridiculous. A rifleman which has less defense than that on a city took out like 5 panzer divisions and it was ridiculous. Yeah, pan tanks are really helpful too because they can attack 3 times in one turn. So that will, that's a real big bonus to have, because these infantry, they can only attack once. Come on, just do one damage. Oh my god. I'm going to try and use only one tank per city, just to do the fact that we have minimal tanks and we won't be able to build more for a little while. Oh my god. See, the good thing about this is you can just send them into battle. They do some damage. Yeah, they're not doing a lot. I think I'm going to have to send another tank. Don't want to, but it's not the end of the world. Germany's economy is one of the best in the world, or right now. America's pretty good too. Actually, I'll show you that in a second. America is, looks like the most developed country, and they can flush out like five battleships per turn. The problem is Pearl Harbor. Uh, where is that? Uh, right here. Yeah, Pearl Harbor. The Japanese come and butt fuck every single Navy unit they have. So as the Americans, it's really hard to get it starting and up and running. But once you do, you just dominate through the Pacific. Like, it's not even funny. <laughs> oh my god. Let's continue our bombardment on the Netherlands so we can move through Brussels and uh, head into France. I know it's probably the most predictable thing you can possibly do. But right now, France hasn't even started their first turn, and we're about to dominate through their entire country. 
as long as we have good luck and units don't decide to stop every single division I have. So the that guy is damaged. I'll send in another conscript. Actually, I'll send in a full-on infantry. See if this guy will do anything else. Come on. Oh, here we go. That was a good military decision. I saved myself a tank roll. Uh, let's continue with that. I had good luck with that. These guys seem to be extremely wounded. The only thing is I don't want to be sending in so many people that I level them all their units up to elite. It's just pointless. Their units get even stronger than my units. Oh, there we go. So we conquered our first city. Oh, seven resistors. Uh, they'll go down quickly. Stick with another one. Learn your place in my country. <laughs> Anyways. Um, let's send in more conscripts, I guess. Oh, by the way, this is a railroad uh, for some of you people who don't have Civ. Actually, I suggest you buy this game. It's only 5 bucks on Steam, and there's endless possibilities you can do with it. I've been having so much fun through all my years of elementary school and high school. Like, this game's so much fun. There's so many things you can do with it. So again, let's just continue bombarding the French with infantry. Just throwing their bodies at them. <laughs> let's try and use this dude. Do it for the Republic! No, I'm not a Republic. But if anything, the German- Oh, there's the phone. Sorry for that small interruption. Let's just continue destroying the front- or uh, the Netherlands. Can this guy attack again? Nope, he's gone. Uh, actually, let's decide what we should do. Um, I guess it might be good to put up some snipers. Or maybe this. Uh, next turn, I have to build something in one turn so I can start fleshing out. Mm, let's build a recon trooper. Those things are really good. They can sniff out snipers. Excuse me. And let's build some troop trucks. Those are really helpful. They can transport troops over far so they can move like uh, tanks do. It's really helpful when you're going through all of this territory. Because right, infantry in that territory is basically death. You're going to walk in, they're just going to bombard you. But if you can move in a vehicle, that's going to be a lot better. Just want to make sure you protect that vehicle because if they destroy it before you get there, Everyone's dead. <laughs> oh, you guys are expensive. Uh, let's build destroyers here. Let's build. You know, let's build some German infantry so we can just get some. Up. They're really cheap. Any city could probably, uh, even this city, even though it's in a resistance, can probably build in, okay, six turns, which is pretty good for a city that's, like, trying to kill everyone. But, uh, do I want to, let's just keep sending in our troops, throwing our bodies up, and that seems to be working pretty well. Victory for the German army. Alright, so as you can see, the strategy is working out pretty well. We still have so many Panzer. Actually, can this attack? Yeah, this Panzer Division can still attack. So I'm probably going to use it to attack this city. Just to take down some damage. Uh, let's just keep using our German infantry. Can I move? Okay. That still works. You're going to want to stay as far away from this French wall as possible. I'm telling you, you can try to destroy it by... By the time you destroy it, the, <laughs> the Russians will be inside your territory, murdering everyone you can. And the German army was like the most powerful army in the entire world at this point. They dominated through all of France in two weeks, which is pretty ridiculous, if you ask me. Okay, so we don't seem to be having many much luck with the conscripts on this city. I don't want to send in another... T Actually, he has one life. Oh, okay. See, this is what happens. If you wait too long and send in too many pointless troops, they're just... Oh, shit. Yeah, that's why. Okay. Can we move on to this? One turn. This, this, this. Okay, so I can use it to attack this, but I don't think I'm going to use it to attack that. Um, let's just continue. These are hills, and they'll provide defensive bonus. Just use them when you're in attacking the Russians. You're going to have to use all the bonuses you have. We should win this, logically, but of course...